Hello there, this video will go over installing the Chromium browser for Linux on Android. A quick reminder that there is no sound for Linux on Android for now, so if you open up something like YouTube in a browser, there will not be any sound. Also, if you are interested in Linux on an Android, then you may be interested in my playlist that will cover how to install and set up a Linux desktop on an Android without running. Now, the reason we are downloading the Chromium browser is because the Firefox browser currently doesn't work. To download the Chromium browser, we are going to use Synaptic, which we can get to from the menu, and in the Preferences category, we will open up Synaptic Package Manager. Once Synaptic opens up, we are going to click on the Reload button to get the most up-to-date list of all the available software packages in Synaptic. Once Synaptic is done reloading, we can go ahead and click on the search button and then search by name for Chromium. Once the search is done, we can right click on Chromium and select Mark for installation and then click on Mark for the required additional changes. And then we can download Chromium by clicking on the apply button and then click on apply again to confirm we want to download Chromium. Now all we have to do is wait for Chromium to finish installing. Keep in mind that we will get errors when we install software. Don't panic when this happens because we can just ignore those. Now that we have finished installing Chromium, we can go ahead and close out of Synaptic and now we need to fix the Chromium launch command. We're going to do this by going to the menu and in the internet section, we are going to right click on Chromium web browser and select properties. From there, we are going to go to the desktop entry tab. Here we are going to change the launch command to chromium space percent capital U space dash dash no dash sandbox space dash dash test dash type. After that, we can then click on the OK button to save the change. We can then open up the chromium browser from the menu. Once we've opened up the browser, we can make it into our default browser by going to the three dot menu option near the top right of the screen, select settings, and in the default browser section, we can click on the make default button to make the Chromium browser our default browser. Some handy keyboard shortcuts for the Chromium browser are control D, which bookmarks the current page and F11, which makes the browser full screen. There are also some useful URLs, one of which is the chrome colon slash slash about, which gives a list of all the special URLs where a lot of the advanced settings are. Another one is the file colon slash slash slash, which shows the file system through the Chromium browser. It is a common practice for a Linux application to have a help file in the form of an HTML file that opens up in a browser. For example, the GIMP help tries to open up the help file in the Firefox browser, however we know that Firefox currently doesn't work in Linux on Android. So to fix this kind of situation, we need to change the default browser that the file uses from Firefox to Chromium. We are going to do that by opening up File Manager PC Man FM and going to the slash USR slash share slash GIMP slash 2.0 slash help slash en file path. Here we will find the index.html file where we will right click on it, select open with, and then select the Chromium web browser. From there, we're going to check the box labeled set selected application as default action for this file type and then click on OK. Now, whenever we open up the help from the help menu in GIMP, it opens up with the Chromium browser. We can find more help or information about Chromium from a terminal if we do Chromium space dash dash help, or if we do man space Chromium. If you enjoyed this video, then you may be interested in the companion book to this video, Linux on Android phones and tablets. And other than that, see you soon.